Hey guys, so I am back with um, our five in a row. This week we just finished rowing our moon. This is the third year we've done this row. So for this row, I kept it, this is the first week we're back from break as well. So I kept it light. We did a lot of more crafts on the end, but we still of course did our basic studies. And now in this video, I'm just gonna show you the things that we did with fair itself. I'm not showing you everything else we did with all the other, um, like the, main parts of the subject only because I am part of a collaboration throughout the next couple of weeks you're going to be seeing what I do in our home for each subject so I don't want to like repeat myself because those are actual things that we do all the time with every subject so you'll see those coming up now um, not pictured in here is my fair nights which um, if you follow me you know fair nights is I like to take a meal theme it up with what we're eating or make it um, part of our story our book our location with this book we actually don't have um, for geography we didn't actually pick a location it is like the forest of course but it is wintry is kind of the theme I sticked with it and I was going to do a winter theme but what happened is last year I Pinterest failed um, the moon phases like to learn them they were using Oreo cookies and last year I forgot to get them I thought I put them in my basket and somehow they got out of my basket so when we got home that night for supper we were eating um, tostadas which is basically a corn tortilla a fried corn tortilla and then you just um, smother some beans on it put a little bit of ground beef lettuce tomatoes and all that so at that moment it just hit me hey we should just cover our um, tostada in moon phases so each of my kids they start off with a crescent so they make a crescent then they go to the quarter to the half and then a full moon and that is how we um now that is how we study moon phases and it also has now become my fair nights um meal for um the owl moon book so that's not in there, so I'm telling you now. And then also the fact that my kids went out owling with my husband. They did get a chance to catch, not catch now, but to ca see an owl up in the trees with their big flashlight and whatnot. So of course that is not filmed in there as well. And I think that's it that's not filmed in there. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like all my fair videos that are coming up, stay tuned because we are back on we are fully schooling no more holiday schooling no more um, breaks at the moment unless well i mean i can't just say at the moment so we homeschool so i can take a break tomorrow if i wanted to but we're not so stick around with us take a look at this row and definitely subscribe if you want to see any of the other rows i have coming up book of the week called Al Moon. It's definitely one of the favorites in our home. If you haven't picked up this book, then pick it up and read it. It's a great story, especially for winter. Here are our go-along books. I only picked up three, and of course, these ones are just moon and not owl related because of the fact that I had a lot of owl crafts coming up. I wanted to definitely um, remind ourselves about the moon. This is our winter themed nature table that we started this week as well, and it's still cold um, in the evenings around here. And here is our sensory bin that we have winter theme, of course. I love how simple this is and how cheap you can go with these things. You can just put anything that you already have at home. You don't have to buy anything special, and they can learn from it. All those magnetic letters are something I already have on hand. For language, we kept it really simple. Um, I had printed one of these out last year and we didn't touch on it, so my son definitely got to do that one as well. For art, we did the mosaic, tore little papers, and then made little owls. We had two guests with us that day, so we did have some extra ones. 
For math, I kept it really simple. I seen this idea, I just Google stuff like ideas and I seen these pictured. So I'm not sure exactly how they did theirs. I mean, I'm making mine to resemble theirs, but I'm not sure if they put a lesson to it or not. With mine, I did it where my son was using the ruler to measure each side, make sure it's the same. And then he had to calculate how many of it and he did the area as well for them. And then my daughter, of course she cut and then she did some tracing as well when she did the eye ones here so I did make it a lesson it's not just about the cutting and the pasting and tracing like for my son who's in third grade he did have to calculate the areas he's learned about area so we did bring in geometry and then for the littles they actually kept um, the little littles we definitely went over the shapes they know the basic shapes and they were learning new shapes like pentagon and hexagon were something they know here my three-year-old is trying to trace some eyes as well again it's another thing that keeps them going these are from last year so I had these so we definitely went over ordeal numbers again and then these are what it turned out to be. There was a really cute craft. And then for science we ordered the owl pellets um, to dissect them. We didn't do them last year like I had planned to so this year we definitely did it. I put them in a ziploc bag just so they can break it up a lot easier and then my daughter was able to take them out of course with her little gloves and um, put the little bones together as skeletons. I don't remember how many we all got out of there like there was so many and it's so hard to put together but they enjoyed most of they enjoyed it more than anything of just being able to see that there was little bones and of course we were able to tie that back into the movie we had seen here as a little handicraft we painted our picture and I've been trying to do like little mementos of every book of something I could have so whenever that book comes back up we can like put that out with our nature table or whatnot. Now throughout the week that we are rowing whatever book it is, of course I like to tie in, my children watch a lot of documentaries and movies that theme up to what I are, we are schooling that week. So these are the four things that we did use. There was a couple of other ones that I really can't find, but a lot of mine are on Amazon Prime is what I used. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Definitely if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Remember if you like these videos, subscribe.